Middle East may be petite-sized, but few other destinations offer such a variety of landscapes and things to do as this Central American country. Dense jungles and ancient sites on the western edge, and the Caribbean side's gleaming caves and their proximity to the second-largest barrier reef in the world, make Belize a mecca for eco-travelers and adventure seekers. Picture a country with tropical beaches, coral reefs, cave formations, exotic wildlife and a laid-back Caribbean atmosphere. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Belize so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Great Blue Hole. The most popular dive destination in Belize, the Great Blue Hole offers divers interesting observations of limestone formations that mold its walls. This massive sinkhole under the water is near the lighthouse reef and creates a perfect circle of deep blue water. The deeper one dives into the Great Blue Hole, the clearer the water and the more breathtaking the scenery, as the array of bizarre stalactites and limestone formations become more complex and intense. At number 9 is the Caracol. Sitting high on the Vaca Plateau, 500 meters, 1,650 feet, above sea level, Caracol is the largest Maya site in Belize. It was once one of the largest ancient Maya cities, covering some 168 square kilometers, 65 square miles. At its peak around 650 AD it had an estimated population of about 150,000, more than twice as many people as Belize City has today. The largest pyramid in Caracol is Kana, Sky Place, at 43 meters, 143 feet, it is still the tallest man-made structure in all of Belize. At number 8, Placencia. A popular peninsula in southern Belize, Placencia has the best mainland beaches, plus some of the most amazing offshore coral caves. The eastern side of the Placencia Peninsula is a long expanse of white sand beach. The western side is bounded by a long and narrow bay. The beautiful beaches together with the abundant, inexpensive accommodation, make it a great place to relax and one of the attractions in Belize. At number 7, Lamanai. Located in northern Belize, Lamanai was once a considerably sized Maya city. The ancient ruins are not completely uncovered yet. Archaeological work has concentrated on the investigation and restoration of the larger structures such as the High Temple, a 33-meter tall temple. Since it was still occupied by the Maya when the Spanish arrived, Lamanai, which in Maya means submerged crocodile, is one of the few Mayan sites to retain its traditional name. At number 6 in our list, San Pedro Town. Ambergris Cay is the largest of several hundred islands in the northernmost waters of Belize. The island is the top tourist destination in Belize, and its lack of high-rise hotels or big city traffic gives the island a relaxed, laid-back feel. Most people get around Ambergris Cay by simply walking. There's a great deal of quality hotels in town, and many resorts on the island are less than a mile from the town of San Pedro, the only urbanized area on the island. At number 5, Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. The Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary is one of the biggest, protected destinations in Belize. The reserve was founded in 1990 as the first wilderness sanctuary for the jaguar. 
Although roughly 60 of Belize's 700 jaguars are believed to live in the sanctuary, your chances of seeing one are very slim. However, it's an ideal environment for plant spotting, bird viewing or seeking out other wildlife, and the trail system is the best developed in any of Belize's protected areas. At number 4, Zunantunic. The Maya ruins of Zunantunic are located atop a ridge above the Mopan River near San Ignacio, within sight of the Guatemala border. Most of the structures date from about 200 to 900 BC. Zunantunic consists of a series of six plazas surrounded by more than 26 temples and palaces. At 40 meters, 130 feet, the pyramid known as El Castillo is the tallest structure in Zunantunic and the second tallest structure in Belize, after the temple at Caracol. At number 3 in our list, Belize Zoo. Set in natural forest, 31 miles from Belize City. The Belize Zoo is one of the finest zoos in the Americas. Many of the animals in Belize Zoo are wild animals that were kept as pets by individual collectors and the zoo tries to recondition such animals for a return to the wild. It enables visitors to see the native animals of Belize at close quarters, housed in spacious enclosures that closely resemble their natural habitats. Unless you're a seasoned wildlife photographer, this is likely to be the best place to get excellent photographs of the animals of Belize. At number 2, Ambergris K. As the largest K island in Belize, Ambergris offers a number of things to do. Whether you want to relax in a hammock on a beautiful beach, go fishing or sailing, or take a food tour, there's something for everyone in Ambergris K. The main town of San Pedro, with golf carts zooming by on its narrow streets, provides a good base for visitors, with seaside resorts and potty operators taking guests to the Great Blue Hole and Shark Ray Alley. Check out the number one places in our list, K. Cocker. K. Cocker is a small coral island in the Caribbean Sea and is accessible by high-speed water taxi or small plane. In recent years, the island has become a popular Belize attraction for backpackers and other tourists for its cheap prices, laid-back vibe, and abundance of restaurants and bars. The main mode of transport on Cay Cocker is simply walking. The paths are well defined, and crossing the island takes about 20 minutes. Bicycles and golf carts can also be rented. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Belize. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.